Hey everyone, this is Brandon from Top10Gamer.com. Today we're going to take a look at an $800 gaming PC built specifically for playing Battlefield 4 on Ultra. Before I go on, I wanted to mention that all of the parts for this particular PC can be found in the description below, as well as a write-up to the site where I wrote, uh, wrote out the parts list and did the research for this particular build. So let's jump right into it. Uh, for CPU, we've got the FX8320. Now, some of you might be asking why I went with this particular processor. Now, one of the main reasons is because in TechSpot's most recent article, here's a look at the graph, you can see that a CPU like the FX8350 and even the 6350 and even the FX4100 do a great job um, of performing on Battlefield 4. There's very little variation between uh, these CPUs and what you're getting even on a higher Intel i7 processor. Also, for this particular processor, we can just spend $160, so we pretty much get everything we want to get for $160, and we can go with a socket AM3 Plus motherboard. You know, if we go with an, a newer Intel Haswell processor, then we're gonna also going to have to couple that with a uh, socket 1150 motherboard that, quite frankly, is probably going to cost a little bit more for the features that we're going to get. Okay, so for graphics cards, we have dedicated about $300 of our overall budget towards uh, the GPU, and that really allows us to hit AMD's new R9280X, a fantastic graphics card for Battlefield 4. I've been looking at a ton of different benchmarks all around the web. Uh, this newer Tom's Hardware one that I'm bringing up here for you uh, showed the recent GTX 780 Ti boost, which is fine, but Perhaps the more telling thing in this graph is exactly where the R9280X is, right above the GTX 770, which costs a uh, considerable uh, amount more than the 280X. Also, as you can see here, it shows that you can play ultra settings on 54 FPS. Now, that may not seem like a lot, but if you're willing to go down to 2 times AA, or if you're willing to put some of your textures on high, then you'll reach 60 FPS on average, uh, most certainly and, and, and pretty easily. And with better drivers coming out in AMD's Mantle in December, you'll probably be able to play 60 FPS even with all of it on high anyway. For RAM, I really like the G-Skill series. Uh, there's some pretty cheap RAM going out this month, and you can get the 2133 megahertz RAM just as cheap as the 1600, or even in some cases the 1333. G-Skill is a great brand. This is the same RAM we're using in our $650 build, uh, and Corsair has shown us that there is good reason for getting faster RAM. So go with this, guys, and then also we're going to fit a compatible motherboard in here that uh, can handle it. Okay, so for our motherboard, we're going with the Gigabyte GA99FXA-UD3 uh, AM3 Plus motherboard. One of the reasons for this is because on Newegg, there's a $20 rebate card and an additional $5 off if you buy today. Uh, you know, sometimes these prices change back and forth, but I want to at least include uh, what I see on the market. You know, if, if this particular motherboard is no longer on rebate when you watch this video, then just find another similar rebate that costs 100 or not rebate, but motherboard that costs 100 to $110 and will support uh, 2133 RAM. Okay, so for power supply, you're going to want to probably around 600 watts for this build. You don't need quite that much. If you go to Thermal Takes Power Supply Calculator, it won't come in as a 600 watts, but it's always good to have at least 20% extra when it comes to overall wattage. Uh, for this build, it felt 600 watts just kind of felt right to me after I've done a lot of builds. And uh, there's a few good um, power supplies in this price range. You want a bronze certified one at least. If you can go with a better silver or gold or platinum one and afford that, then that's a great idea to do in the long run simply because over, uh, over time you're going to save a lot of money. You know, over the next five or ten years you can save several hundred dollars by using a more efficient power supply if you use your your uh, gaming PC quite a lot. For this build, what we can afford is a bronze certified uh, uh, PSU like the CX600, or there was a really good Zalman one on sale. Let me get the model number real quick. The Zalman ZM-600-GT, which has a $30 rebate that makes it around 50 bucks this month. 
Okay, gaming cases, we're going to step it up and do a little nicer case this time uh, just to have a little better look. I really like the NZXT Guardian for about uh, $60 because it comes with three 120mm fans um, and just it just looks great. This case, you can get it in red or blue LED lighting. Um, if you want to go with something maybe a little more functional, the Half 912 is a really nice option. Although it only comes with two fans, uh, it does have a better cable management system. Okay, for the hard drive, we're going to go with that inexpensive uh, Western Digital 1 terabyte, uh, the Blue Series uh, hard drive. Uh, if you already have a hard drive, then feel free to just use that one. Uh, put that money towards something else if you want to. Maybe a solid state drive. You know, I've been playing Battlefield 4 quite a bit lately, and I do have a solid state drive. Uh, I've got the Samsung 840, and I am the first one into the map. Uh, while it's loading and that allows me to have access to pretty much any vehicle that I want to you know when when I die within a map and then I go load to get a vehicle a lot of the vehicles are gone of course but you know this just allows me to start the round out how I like to you know generally I like to to go into the LAV if if at all possible and and uh, pair up with a buddy and, and usually I can do really well that way so again another reason to have a solid state drive we weren't able to fit that into this particular build but again if you've got an extra sixty to hundred twenty dollars then definitely this is something to consider for this build as well okay so that's it and that's our build for today hopefully you've enjoyed it uh, hopefully if you've got any questions you can still ask me below I know this whole Google Plus fiasco isn't easy for all of you but I do have a Google Plus profile go uh, plus one or add me or whatever it's called there so that you guys get my daily posts or you can check me out at facebook.com slash top 10 gamer or on Twitter at top 10 gamer for additional ways to communicate with me you know I'm here to help uh, don't be afraid to ask uh, questions you can ask other subscribers as well they do a really good job uh, we I feel like we've been able to help a lot of good people so far so if if you have a question about your build don't don't hesitate to ask me and hopefully you like this video press like and subscribe if you do for more like it and we'll see you next time